With the Super Bowl coming up later this week, we thought we could make a comparison video between the two local Cedar Fair parks of the teams playing, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. Honestly, I have no idea which team will win this game, but at least I can determine which park has the better coaster lineup in this video. I also saw Airtime Thrills had the same video idea, and he beat us to it, but we are still going to post this. Plus, we have a different format and scoring system for this video. We are going to be comparing the coasters in the lineups head to head. Both parks have 7 coasters, so we will have 7 of these matchups. The way we will keep scoring this video is with touchdowns and field goals. If one coaster is much better than another, we will give the park a touchdown, which is worth 7 points. If one coaster is just a little bit better than another, we will give the park a field goal, which is worth 3 points. Let's start this off with the Morgan Hypers, Mamba and Steel Force. Until this year, Steel Force had always been considered to be the the best Morgan Hyper in the chain. None of them had a good reputation, but Steel Force always offered the most floater airtime of the bunch, even if it wasn't much. But this last season, Worlds of Fun ran Mamba with the trim brakes disengaged, and it delivered solid airtime on the return run. For that reason, Mamba will take this matchup. Worlds of Fun leads 7 to 0. Next, we have the B&M Inverse, Patriot and Talon. These coasters actually have quite similar layouts, with a vertical loop, Immelman, Zero-G Roll, and Corkscrew. However, Talon definitely has the superior setting, as it has actual foliage around the ride, whereas Patriot is just in the middle of a field. Plus, Talon is more forceful and seems to take the layout quicker. Talon takes the matchup and gets Dorney Park on the board, 7-7. Now, we have the shuttle coasters from these two parks. Boomerang, a Vacoma Boomerang, and Possessed, an Intimate Impulse Coaster. These are two cloned shuttle coasters, and I think we all know how much better an Impulse is than a Boomerang. This is irrelevant to the point, but I'm surprised that more Impulse coasters weren't built. Over 60 Boomerangs were built, but only 8 Impulse coasters were ever installed. But that's besides the point right now. Dorney Park scores a touchdown here and takes the lead, 14-7. I'm just going to say the kitty coasters cancel each other out, because I don't think either of them are any better than the other. Next, we have the older wooden coaster at Worlds of Fun, Timberwolf, and the oldest coaster in the Cedar Fair chain, Thunderhawk, which is also the only wooden coaster at Dorney Park. Timberwolf is a DIN creation which was installed in 1989, and Thunderhawk was installed by PTC in 1923. Timberwolf was initially a very popular coaster, but as it aged, it became very rough. Worlds of Fun has retracted sections of it, making it noticeably smoother. Both of these coasters offer a bit of airtime and forces, but I will give Thunderhawk the win and Dorney Park a field goal here because of the history behind this coaster. Dorney Park now leads 17-7. Now we have the family coasters from these two parks. Spinning Dragons, a Gerslauer spinning coaster, and Wild Mouse, a Maurer Wild Mouse. So for this matchup, we have one of the best family coasters, the Gerslauer spinning coaster, and just a basic Wild Mouse. Personally, I find the Gerslauer Spinning Coaster to be one of the best family coasters out there, and obviously Spinning Dragons is better than Wild Mouse, but the question is by how much. I don't think that this attraction deserves to score a touchdown for Worlds of Fun, so it pulls the score to a 17-10 Dorney Park lead. Now for our last two coasters, we have Prowler, an Outback GC a Wooden Coaster, and Hydra the Revenge, a B&M Floorless Coaster. Because these coasters are so different, it is hard to compare them. These were the only two coasters that I couldn't find good matchups for. However, I'm going to do it anyway. Prowler is a rare out and back GCI coaster, and most people will say it is a smaller and downgraded version of Mystic Timbers at Kings Island. However, Prowler is still a good wooden coaster and definitely closer to the top of the GCI portfolio than the bottom. Hydra is a B&M floorless coaster, which is possibly the weirdest floorless coaster out there. The layout is very odd, starting with this Jojo roll out of the station. The inversion seems to be all out of order from a normal floorless, and it doesn't have a vertical loop. While this ride might be slightly underrated, unfortunately it is kinda of forceless. For that reason, I'm going to take Prowler in this matchup with a touchdown, and that will tie the score up at 17-17. So now, after comparing the coasters, we have a tie, and normally I would break this tie by comparing the park atmospheres and food, but these are both very nice looking Cedar Fair parks with similar park food, so I'm actually going to break this tie by comparing Worlds of Fun's new for 2023 GCI coaster, Zambezi Zinger, and our concept of Dorney Park's speculated new for 2024 B&M mini dive coaster. I guess you could call this overtime. Zambezi Zinger is a Skyline Design GCI that will be the first ground up coaster to feature Titan Track, but it only features it on the lift hill and a small portion of the layout. Based on what we know about this speculated B&M mini dive, it could look something like this concept. And I'm going to give the edge to Dorney Park here. Zambezi Zinger looks closer to a family coaster than an elite GCI, and while enthusiasts love to hate dive coasters, they are solid rides that have a nice first drop and have some fun inversions. So Dorney Park is going to take a field goal here and the win over Worlds of Fun, 20-17.
If you've made it this far, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing, as it really does help the channel out. So the final score between these two parks is 20-17, with Dorney Park and the Philadelphia Eagles winning the Super Bowl. These bottom two Cedar Fair parks are very similar, but Dorney Park came out on top. As for the actual Super Bowl, this should be a very good game. Both of these teams were the number one seed in their respective conferences and dominant in the regular season and playoffs. Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts are two of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the league. I think there will be a lot of scoring in this game. The Eagles have the better defense, but if there's one thing I won't do, it's count out Mahomes. I think the Chiefs win 34-31, cementing themselves as the NFL's current dynasty. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.